Hi guys! Welcome back to another painting tutorial. Today we'll be doing a still life painting and I chose a plant. Uh, you know how much uh, I love plants because I have plants here at my place and if you are a Facebook friend of mine you pro you've probably have seen me post um, pictures of my plants so I decided why not paint a plant today. So today we'll be only uh, using uh, a few colors and the colors you will find them in the description box below so let's proceed now and i'm gonna go and sketch first my subject i'll be using a pencil for this one and yeah i hope you follow or paint along with me or draw along with me for now because we'll be sketching first so let's begin now so for the sketch i'll be using a pencil and i'll start first with the pot Mm. All right, this is just the beginning stage, so I'm not I'm not really 100% sure if this will be it without changing anything later. I might change something, but we have to start somewhere, so Okay, like that, and then like this. All right, like that. So that's the pot, and I'm gonna add a little more detail later for now it's just gonna be like that we're just sketching anyway we're gonna do some leaves now we'll do our best to make it look quite realistic because as you know me, that's my style. If it's not your style, it's all right. But that's just my style and I like it. I enjoy doing it. like that it's very simple but we'll do our best to make it look more realistic and again I might do a little more adjustment later so let's begin now and let's start painting it so for the pot I'm just gonna get my orange then white and then burnt sienna like so I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black so like this color Maybe a little bit more black, like this. It's like muted orange. And I'm just gonna paint the left side of my pot. Like so. Alright, just like that. Alright, now I'm going to add a lot of white to the same mixture. 
right? So make it really, really light. And we're gonna go from the right side. You can already tell that the light is coming from the right side since um, we're doing light um, colors uh, on the right. like that all right I'm gonna wash my brush out okay I'm just gonna make it more dark right here I'm gonna get my pure orange tiny bit of burnt sienna let's go back and make some more darker colors from the left side And again, try to blend a bit. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. And then a bit of black, like so. And I'm just gonna darken again the right side of my pot. like that okay like that we will do a little more um highlighting and shadowing later for now let's just allow it to dry and i'm gonna get a smaller brush a more pointy brush i'm gonna get my brown and then again black just combine them make sure your brush is quite pointy this time because we'll be doing a line so separating the mouth of the pot from its body we're just gonna make some line separating it and maybe we should also fix something here like that do not make the dark line super visible that just make it appear like that it's there but don't make it look like in your face it's there you know you know what I mean guys all right okay so I guess it's time for us to highlight the right side. I'm gonna get my pure white. All right. Add a lot of water or more water this time. Again, just go back from the right side. Try to highlight it. Like so. More white. Like that. Like that. I kind of like it. All right. So what should we shop? And I want you to get a small brush. Um, I'm just using an angle brush. The angle does not really matter here, but it's just a smaller brush that I can use for small areas. So just get your black. Let's just make some soil.
let's make it quite dark because not because the soil is dark but because it's not really receiving light all right we will be doing a little more detailing later for now let's just make some shadowings all right like that okay wash your brush out now let's proceed to the leaves so i'm just gonna get my green oxide all right actually this is just a dried paint <laughs> green oxide plus um phthalo green just mix them together like so and i'm gonna add a tiny bit of black I want to get some dark green so that I can highlight it later. So I'm just gonna paint this leaf, uh, this leaf, leaf first. I also have my hair dryer right beside me so that if I want to highlight something and the paint's still wet, I could simply dry it for highlighting purposes or for laying purposes. You can wait for your paint to dry naturally or gradually, but for tutorial purposes, I need my hair dryer because time is of importance right here. All right, like that. So I'm going to have to wait for it to dry since I'll be painting on some leaves or some more leaves. Again, same color, but this time I'll be going here. I'll be doing another leaf. This is a separate leaf. And for now, it doesn't really make, it doesn't really make any sense like full sense of it but later it will when we do the shadowing later the depths and the highlights will show all right just remember where the next leaf or the separation between the two leaves. Just remember that imaginary line. Here as well. My canvas is quite absorbent. That's why I need a lot of water to make my paint flow quite smoothly or glide on my canvas quite smoothly. all right so just use the same color we're not really changing it again green oxide phthalo green all right and then tiny bit of black all right maybe i'm gonna add more black because again the left side is not really receiving too much light or much light compared to the right side so make the leaves from the left side quite darker than the right side that's really really dark that i did there but it's all right okay same here Like that.
again just remember the line separating the leaves from each other we'll be emphasizing it later for now let's just underpaint again green oxide black plus phthalo green All right, like that. So, does that make any sense right now? <laughs> As you can tell. But I promise you guys, this will make sense later. And then, you can do your chair black. Like that. Now that we're done underpainting it, um, we can dry it now for highlighting, right? So I'm just going to get my hair dryer. green mixture that we have here I'm just gonna add white so that we make our greens quite light so like this color just add white it's still green but it's good enough to highlight the leaves we're not departing from the green color or the green shade it's not white we're not highlighting a white flower we're actually highlighting green leaves so the highlight should still be under the shade of green so I'm just going to use this color to highlight some areas right here. Like so. Right. Also here. I actually might use some yellow slater. Like that okay again same color like that so I'm just gonna get some tiny bit of yellow ok 
Okay, I'm gonna use that yellow. Uh, I'm gonna add that to my greenish colors. I'm gonna highlight some areas using this color. Not too much because there's not a lot of yellow in this plant. All right, guys. Oh, wait, guys. I have to check if I have a message here. All right. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Nothing, guys. As I told you yesterday, if or the other day, if you've watched my last video, I was expecting a delivery of my paints. I got the first half of the delivery. I'm just waiting for the second half. All right, like that. All right. Making some more bright highlights. Wash your brush out. Okay, now let's separate some leaves from each other. I'm gonna get my pure black. All right, pure black. And let's separate, guys. So I'm gonna outline this leaf. Like so. And here as well. I'm just gonna make some outline. like that all right wash your brush out I'm going I'm going to get my smaller brush all right I'm gonna get my light green mixture and let's just uh, outline this leaf using that color Same here. Just try to kind of outline it. All right, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my light greens. All right, and then my dark greens. can add a tiny bit of black for outline purposes. I'm gonna get some yellow greenish color like this. And we're going to use that to highlight the back Trying to suggest that the light is, or the leaf is quite translucent, not transparent. All right, like that.
All right, get your white. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You know what, when I'm leaning far over, I feel like I'm crushing my throat. That's why I always like cough. All right, more highlight. Okay, again, some yellow greenish colors. Get your yellow. Like so. Get your dark greens. Let's make this quite dark. Like that. We're doing details now, guys. some greenish colors like that it's making sense now doesn't it right Okay, I'm going to add more white. All right. Okay. Again, more white. I haven't checked first on camera how or what this looks like. I haven't checked um, but I will definitely for now let's just make some highlights All right, let me check on the camera if it's making sense already. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is already. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I'm 
going to highlight it even more. I like this one, guys. I really like this one. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to highlight some areas a little bit more because I'm kind of enjoying the highlighting thing okay. I'm gonna get some black I'm just gonna make some outlines right here Like so. All right, now let's go back to the pot. Now that the leaves have, uh, or that leaves, oh, I really like this one. I just can't explain how happy I am for doing this one. So let's go back to the brownie color that we have here. We have here orange. I'm gonna add yellow and burnt sienna. I'm gonna add white and black. Basically every color that I have here except green. So I'm just gonna make some more detail. on the pot right like that okay I'm gonna get my white pure white let's go back to highlighting it Like that and let's just fix this area I really like this one it could be a good display for your house right I'm gonna get my black I'm gonna add a lot of uh, add a lot of water and then I'm just gonna make some shadowing Just like that, very subtle application. I just want to um, make it appear or to emphasize that it's under this leaf. That's why I did some shadowing.
All right. Wash your brush out. All right, I'm just gonna clean some areas since I have a lot of white. I did not expect that uh, I'll only be using tiny bit of white for this one. So I'm just gonna clean it, delete some areas that went um, outside the line. Oops, this is like too brown. All right, and now I think I have to make some shadowing for the pot simply because um, the light is coming from the right side, so I need to make some shadows on the left side. if I will make some shadowing here or I'll just retain it this way I think I'll just retain it this way um, I don't want to uh, overdo this um, I just want a plant painting today if you want you can do it to your own version of this one Um, but I don't think I'll be doing that anymore because I need to just, I want it as simple as possible. You know that? As simple as possible. Okay, I'm just going to darken again the, the right side, or oh, the left side, sorry. So just blend. I think this is the good, uh, or this is a good opportunity for you guys to to blend a little. Blend. Just fix that one. like that kind of like this one I really like this one it's simple it's very minimalistic all right so again I'm just cleaning it And I think this is done. I really like this one. Right? I kind of like it. I mean, I really don't, or I seldom do stuff like this for my tutorials. And I like this one very much.
Oh my gosh. I kind of like this one. So I'm just glazing some greenish colors on the leaf so that I don't really deviate from the greenish color. Like that. Oh, I love it. Gosh. Okay, so I have to sign this now because I think it's done. It's. Oh, wait, guys. I forgot this area. Sorry. Sorry about that one. All right, just like that. It's not really like super big deal, but I want to finish it nicely. Let's make some highlights. All right, wash your brush out. Again, let's just try to add some greeny colors like that. Oh, this is nice. I can actually display this um, in my own house. All right, for the soil, I think even if it's not really receiving enough light, I'm just gonna like dab on some tiny bits of brown because I don't want to make it look like it's just black space in there. It's not too much of a detailing, but I just want to suggest that there are some like brown, brownie colors on the soil. It's not really as obvious from the camera, but when you look at it closely, you'll see the difference. All right. Mm, wait, guys. Wait, wait. Like that. All right, so for the signature, I'm just gonna use my mm, green color. Let's sign here. Right, and we're done. We're done, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this very simple, very min minimalistic painting of mine. And see you in my next video, guys. Love you.